Within your bookings menu, you will find an area called Booking Sources. And within this page, this is where you will list every single place that a guest could have heard about you. Now at the top, you will see that we have Show in Website Booking Form. So this must be set to Yes, so that when the guest is on the booking page, they can see a drop down and it asks the question, how did you hear about us? And what will be in that drop down is all of the sites and places that the guest could have heard about you. And these are free text fields, so you can put in here all the different places and you'll see that we have a nice list. At the bottom, there is an empty field if you'd like to continue adding more. There is no limit, you can add as many as you like. Next to each of the sources that you add, you have a column called Display Order. So if you're, if you're particular on how you would like this list to display to the customer, you can order it, one being at the top of the list. Show on customer forms, we would want that to display to the customer, so you would have that set to yes if you still would like it to be active. And associate with the site. So for any people who have more than one website within their Super Control account, you can pick and choose or highlight all of the sites that you would like this source to be associated with. You also have the option to archive sources when they're no longer needed. At the top of the page again, you can also see the field that says compulsory. So again, a lot of people decide that they would like this question to be compulsory for the guest because it's very important for you to know. Um, and each of these sources, as and when the guest replies to that question when they're booking, it starts to build a report in your Super Control account. And that report is within your statistics menu and you'll see customer booking sources. And that means at the end of the year or the end of your, your a certain period of time, you can go into that report and see if any of the sites that you are paying to advertise on, is it being worthwhile? Now, when you place an admin booking, at the bottom of the booking, you will see a tab called Website and Source. So for admin bookings, it's very easy. It's a good habit to get into asking your customers, how did you hear about us? And then you can manually add this in yourself. So you'll see there's a drop down here for Source. You would just select how they've heard about you and save. Another area within your bookings menu is called Customer Ratings. Now this allows you to set up a rating system so that when a guest departs, you can give them a rating according to how you found them, how they've left your property. Now in most cases, the rating system is used for blacklisted. The reason being that the majority of people are quite happy to accept anyone returning, but only want to flag people who, they, who have left the property in a, in a not good state, so they can set them to blacklisted. So within here, you just give a rating a name and click Add New. And that means that within each booking, under the Rating tab, you can select the rating that you wish to give them. Now you'll see that we've added additional ratings. And again, it's personal preference and how you would like to use the rating. And you can filter your database by rating when you're going to send out a mail shot. Um, so again, you might want to think about how you would like to use the rating system, but certainly in the first instance, blacklisted is the most common. So you would just select the rating from the drop down and click save. You'll notice that that gives us an alert at the top. Now, this doesn't stop the guest in the future going onto your website and booking again. The booking will still come through as normal. However, when you go into the booking, you can't miss this alert at the top of the page and that would then allow you to politely decline the booking.